Good morning, guys. I've literally just woke up and I'm quite well. I'm kind of on the fence whether to do this topic or not, but I shouldn't allow other people to kind of stop me from doing doing this video. So I'm going to speak about White Sage. Now, I know this video is really going to go. Um, some people may not agree with it. Some people may agree with it, but I'm going to say my personal view on the situation and what I know from people who are involved in the Native American religion. But in the UK, we know them as Indians. But other people may also like the term indigenous. So white sage is a very controversial topic. And they see it seems to be gatekeeped quite a lot. And you can't gatekeep a plant. It's not that that's actually closed in the practice. It's actually smoke cleansing. And a lot of people like the thought of gatekeeping a plant. I personally don't like gatekeeping. Or people trying to control what people use. Because at the end of the day, people can use what they feel that they need to use. And I personally don't like the fact of other people from different religions, especially around white people that use white sage, that don't seem to have their information correct about white people. So maybe they should really get their facts first before they start to open their mouths and start saying you can't use this or you can't use that. So maybe they should really look into white people's ethnics and, uh, and get the facts right first around the usage of white sage before they start letting, telling people the information first because it is really frustrating. Um, you can use white sage I'm not the type to gatekeep a plant and no one else should be either um, in the UK politically you can't smoke cleanse because it's been it's been banned in the UK in the UK for for well political reasons to why politically it's been banned in the UK uh, smoke cleansing but you can use the usage of white sage and I also have a friend who's involved in the in the religion and and I've known other people as well that have said it's not white sage that's actually closed in their practice, it's actually smoke cleansing. And um and she actually did a post about it, which I did try to explain to a few people, and there was like you're not listening to this information that I'm that I'm telling you. You know, you can't use white sage. It's like, I'm not going to listen to something which I know is false. I'd rather listen to someone who's not willing to gatekeep a plant. Pa when a plant is part of the earth, you, it can't be gatekeeped. I mean, I know people that are gatekeeping the Titanic, you know, because of this generation group to know the Titanic via the James Cameron film. You know, we weren't all born in 85. You know, James Cameron film is a really good introduction, you know, for my generation to learn about the Titanic. You know, it's a really, really good starting point for it. And people are gatekeeping it due to how my generation have grown up to know about it and to hear about it. And it just feels like I'm back in that zone again with the White Sage getting gatekeeped. You know, gatekeep shouldn't be in any form of existence whatsoever. You know, and I just think, you know, because I never generally have heard, I never generally heard of gatekeeping before until I got involved in religion with me growing up as an atheist um, and being brought up in an atheist household. I generally, and I know a lot of people have never heard of the word gatekeeping before. So it isn't a word that I generally grew up being familiar with until I got involved in religion when I was hearing it a lot more probably than what I should have been and to be honest I really don't like the sound of that word it's I know that people agree with gatekeeping but I personally don't and I know quite a few people who personally don't agree with the word gatekeeping and it also really seems to be involved in the white sage of white sage getting gatekeeped um, but I know this video is going to cause quite a lot of controversial um, but I'm also speaking from my personal views and from people that I know who are involved in that religion 
and um, who have also said that a plant can't, get, can't be gatekept. Well, it can't. You can't gatekeep a plant, for crying out loud. Um, you know, that's just ridiculous, you know. So I just think with, around white people, I just think that they need to get their facts right first before they start to say, oh, they can't use white sage because they're not part of da -da -da -da, when they, in fact, the can she can't gatekeep a plant. You know, like I said, I'd never really heard the term word of gatekeeping before until I really got involved in religion, and that's when I started to hear it more and more. And then someone actually said, you know, what does gatekeeping mean? And then they actually wrote about what it means, and it's not really a nice thing to do. So try not to get involved in the word gatekeeping because it's um, it's not nice. It's it's kind of on the lines of controlling, really. Um but yeah, it seems to be a lot of, it seems to be rife in certain history topics and in, in religions um, that really, where it really goes wild. Um, so try not to get involved in the word gate, gatekeeping and make sure that you don't gate, gatekeep anything yourself. Um, so yeah, I know this video is going to cause a quite a lot of controversy. So if you don't agree with the usage of white sage, then this video is not for you. It's mostly aimed at the people who generally know that a, know that a plant cannot be gatekeeped. All right, guys, it's very early, early this morning. So just do a quick video on the usage of white sage. And I hope to see you in the next one. All right, bye, guys.